Welcome to the Market Outlook with me, Tilly Allison Harris. Wow, what a week. The S&P 500 spider gapped up on Monday to about $317 a share. That area of distribution, boy, any buyers up there got trapped, and that's called a bull trap. Because by Thursday, the market had dropped down to $310.50 a share, and that accumulation in the area, from there, the market has rallied up higher, closing higher this week. So let's analyze the S&P 500 and look for those higher areas of distribution. The S&P 500 spider on the 60-minute chart, we can see that prices are trading currently at $317.64 a share. A new uh, accumulation area has formed about $314 to $315 a share, and we anticipate that prices will continue to trade higher until they arrive at this distribution area, close to $319 a share. You can see it more clearly on the 240-minute chart. As prices continue to rally higher, we do anticipate that there will be some distribution here at $320 to $323 a share, with the area of accumulation here formed this week from $312 to $314 is likely to drive the market higher. And for longer term investing, we see that the spider on the weekly chart, the area of accumulation that we were previously analyzing has not changed. From $291 to $295 a share, we can see that there's a lot of accumulation and prices have continued to trade higher. Although they will likely struggle here at $320 a share, prices will likely eventually continue to trade higher and retest the all-time highs. So join us again next week and we'll analyze the S&P 500. Last week on Merlin's show, we got to answer lots of great questions about how to use the S&P 500 spider for longer term investing and the S&P 500 futures for more active trading and the options market as well. So join me on Tuesday on Merlin's show, July the 14th. I'll see you there.